Hey everyone, welcome to another video lesson from NavigationTrading.com. In this video, I wanna discuss Tastyworks and give you a full review of their platform. And we're gonna go over seven different criteria which we think are the most important when it comes to evaluating a brokerage. So to start with, we're gonna talk about trading commissions, we're gonna talk about their customer service, their order entry platform, how to monitor your current positions, their charts, uh, the tasty trade and follow page features that they have, and lastly, their analysis screen. So let's jump right in and talk about trading commissions to start. If you go to our website, navigationtrading.com, you can click on preferred brokers. We have two different preferred brokers, TD Ameritrade's Thinkorswim and Tastyworks, which we're talking about today. And if you scroll down, you can see the trading prices. So Tastyworks made a splash a couple of years ago with their unique commission structure. And the way that that works is when you're trading options, it's just a dollar to open and there's zero commission to close the trade. On futures options, it's $2.50 to open, zero to close. And with the commission war going on between all the brokers, everybody seems like dropped their stock trading commissions to zero. So Tastyworks is no different. Zero to enter and zero to close a stock trade. And then futures, $1.25 to open and $1.25 to close. The other unique aspect of Tastyworks commission structure is that they cap their commission. So if you're somebody who trades a lot of contracts, you can see there's a couple of, of examples, uh, 20 puts or 20 calls, you know, single legs, you're capped at $10 opening commission and of course zero to close. If you're doing verticals, which are two legged spreads, uh, $20 would be the cap. And if you're doing four-legged spreads like an iron condor, you're capped at $40 per trade. So when it comes to trading commissions, Tastyworks is hard to beat. Number two on our list that we want to talk about is customer service. Now, as, as long I've been trading on Tastyworks since they very first opened, and their customer service is outstanding. You can call them directly and anyone who answers the phone is going to have very high level of knowledge when it comes to the different trading strategies that you can trade on the Tastyworks platform. And they're also very responsive by email. I would say the one negative that they have from a customer service standpoint is they don't have an actual chat ability directly from the platform. So I just pulled up the platform. Some platforms will have a little chat box where you can click that and, and just text in and, and chat with a customer service representative on a trading question or, a, or an account issue, and they will respond back to you. Unfortunately, Tastyworks doesn't have that. Hopefully at some point in the future, that is one of the features that they include. The third criteria for our review is order entry. Uh, Tastyworks has done a great job with this as well. It makes it very easy. There's a couple different ways to enter your orders. Uh, you can simply just click on the bid to sell and uh, click on the ask to buy. You can do that both on the put and the call side, a pretty traditional uh, option chain platform. The other way you can enter orders is they have some preset uh, spreads available. So if you're going to trade an iron condor, just hit go, it populates those legs, and then you can just grab and click and drag those to whichever strikes makes sense for your trade. You can also adjust the strikes up or down using the arrows down here below the option chain. You can widen them with this tool and also kick up your quantity of number of contracts easily. Go up and down with these arrows here. Uh, choose different expiration times, further out in time, shorter duration, and so forth and so on. And then you can just hit review and send and send that order on its way. So very simple. Okay, so moving on to criteria number four. If you click on the positions tab, this is how you can monitor your current positions. I really like the layout of what they've done here. They've give obviously give the price of the stock or symbol that you're trading, the profits that you have currently open, the profits that you've made during the day, uh, the P&L percentage. So this is the percentage of max profit that you're at. Also, 
theta and they automatically beta weight your delta to SPY to give you an idea of how long or short your portfolio is. You can expand each symbol uh, to show exactly what you have on in each ind individual uh, symbol and how many days until that trade expires. So it's very clean, simple, and gives you everything you need to monitor your positions. The next criteria we'll look at is the charting platform. So the charting platform within Tastyworks is very basic. If you're the type of person who needs a lot of custom indicators and some crazy charting capabilities, Tastyworks is probably not for you. At Navigation Trading, we are not big technical analysis people. We don't believe it actually gives you any type of edge when you're trading. The only thing that we at Navigation Trading use charting for is to see where the price of a specific symbol has been. The charting package does include some indicators. Uh, so it's, it's all your kind of off the shelf standard indicators. But as far as kind of your custom indicators, uh, the charting package does not include anything and there's no capability to create custom indicators on their platform. One of the other cool features that you'll see inside Tastyworks that's not available inside any other platform is the ability to watch Tasty Trade. Now, Tastyworks is obviously created by the uh, owners and traders at Tasty Trade, and they have uh, you know programming that you can view all day long on different uh, segments and option strategies and all different kinds of things throughout the day. And then the other feature is the follow page. So all the people at Tasty Trade, if you want to follow some of their trades, you can click on the follow page and check out exactly what they're doing. And they post uh, different trades when they make them throughout the day. And the last criteria for our review is the analysis tab that's available on Tastyworks. So if you just pop out your screen with this little arrow here, you can see that you can uh, check, you know, the different contracts that you have on and you can view analysis. Now the trade that I clicked on was a double calendar spread in SPX. And as you can see here, the, 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 the risk profile and the visual representation of the trade on their analysis tab is essentially worthless. Now, when Tastywork came out with their analysis tab, I had high hopes because it was the same development group that created the analysis tab on the Thinkorswim platform. So I thought, oh, this is going to be great. It's going to be bigger, faster, greater than the Thinkorswim analysis tab. But unfortunately, they have fallen extremely short. And so if the risk profile graphs and the analysis tabs are important to you like they are to us, then, then Tastyworks really falls short on that component. On certain strategies, like I'm showing you here, like a calendar spread, it just it doesn't even give you the real representation of, of what the trade should look like. If you're trading options on futures, it, it's pretty worthless there. Some of the strategies, it'll give you a decent representation of what the trade looks like. But overall, I would have to give it, if I had to give out of five stars, I would give the analysis a one star out of five star review for the capabilities. I hope you found this review helpful. Uh, we have no affiliation to one broker or another, just given our honest opinion as we trade on these platforms every day, both Thinkorswim with TD Ameritrade and Tastyworks. And just to recap, I would say on the trading commission, Tastyworks, five out of five. Customer service, five out of five, except for the chat feature that they don't have. So maybe four and a half out of five on that one. Uh, order entry, five out of five. Monitoring positions, five out of five. Charting, it, it does what it needs for us. But if you, like I said, if you need custom indicators, then it's going to be a little bit of a negative. Uh, the Tasty Trade and Follow page are cool features. And then, like I said, the analysis tab is the one main negative. And that's why we still give TD Ameritrade's Thinkorswim platform the slight edge to Tastyworks. But they're both great platforms. A lot of our members use Tastyworks. Uh, a lot of our members use uh, Thinkorswim. And there's a variety of others as well. But that is our analysis. That's our review of the Tastyworks platform. If you have any questions or comments, drop us a line in our community or shoot us an email at info at navigationtrading.com.